In this tutorial, we will be talking about data source templates, what they are and how to use them in Sitecore. Welcome to this tutorial on how to create data source templates in Sitecore. During this tutorial, we will be creating data source templates for the FAQ and rich text editor modules. And we will also be talking about the content tree structure. All the additional materials that are mentioned during this tutorial will be displayed on the screen during the video and linked in the description. So let's look into Sitecore and create these templates. Data source templates are standard templates with data fields. We don't need to configure a layout for these templates because data source items aren't pages. We create them specifically for renderings. In this solution, I have two renderings, the rich text editor and the FAQ. So I will create data source templates for these renderings. We need to navigate to the template section and create a new template underneath this section. I'm going to create a separate folder for each of these modules and create a new template inside each of them. I will call the first template rich text editor. I will name the section data and I will add one field text. It will be a rich text. I will save it. And the second template will be called FAQ. I will use the same name for the section data and the FAQ template will have two fields, the question single line text and the answer multi-line text. Now we can save it and create folders for data source items. We will keep all the data source items outside of the home item below the global item. If you are using a clean sidecore instance, you won't have this global item, but you can create it. It's a normal item with a different icon. We will keep all the settings, data source items, taxonomies below global. I'm going to create a folder. I will call it modules. And then there are the two folders, the FAQ and the rich text editor. I will create all the data source items for the FAQ module below the FAQ folder and all the data source items for the rich text editor module below the rich text editor folder. Now we should configure insert options for both folders. I show you how to do it very quickly for the rich text editor folder. We need to select the item, navigate to the configure tab and select assign. Here we need to add the rich text editor template and click OK. If you would like to find out more about insert options, you can find a link to this video on the screen or in the description below. Now we can create items for the rich text editor modules and select these items when we add the rich text editor modules to the page. In this tutorial, we've created data source templates for two modules. We've added folders outside of the home item and we've configured insert options. The main gain from this tutorial is that we create data source templates to provide data for renderings. However, there may be a situation where you want some data to be directly on the page template See my other videos about page templates. The link is displayed on the screen and linked in the description below. We create data source items outside of the home item in the global area where they can be reused on many pages across the website. Creating modules with data sources supports personalization. We can configure a different data source item for different users, which means that we can display a different content for different visitors. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial my name is Piotr Wegner and I see you next time.